zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Marquise Lee doing it again with his third touchdown here in the opening quarter. And the Jaguars are able to strike quickly for six. Brandon, we're not even out of the first quarter yet. And that's his third receiving touchdown of the game. Tremendous job. And I think this might come under the heading of when someone has the hot hand, you've got to keep going back to them. And on the defensive side, they better figure something out quickly. Yeah, I think that no matter what, you've got to do something to slow him down. I don't care if it's double or triple coverage. Make someone else emerge because right now, he's absolutely shredding them. And a very solid return out across the 45-yard line before going out of bounds. For a quick second there, I thought we were about to have a repeat performance of a kickoff return for a touchdown. This guy's on fire today. They go play action here on first down. He's going to air one out. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Definitely worth taking in our deep shot here. He's already found the end zone twice here in the first half. Yeah, go back to that same well. They've had trouble containing him, but able to contain him on that play. Back to throw now on second and 10. He's going to go for a big play down. This is caught inside the 15. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And my goodness, they're now out of timeouts here in this first quarter. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. They look to throw now on first down. And he's into the end zone for the receiving touchdown. Martellus Bennett with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. The big fellow was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game. Now here's Suckup out to kick it away. This one taken from the seven. And he's going to be taken down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. As he'll take over with the ball first and ten. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. He was looking for his tight end that time, Michael Rivera. That'll bring up second down. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. Bortles now to throw. And he is going to be hit and taken down. Bortles sacked. Thomas Davis in there to get him. His second sack now of the afternoon. Partner, I know the ball security's preached like crazy. But every now and then, you've got to know when to get rid of the football and save a little bit of yardage if you're a quarterback. Because now if you're the offense, now he's hit, and Bortles fumbled. It's loose. And he is going to go down in the end zone. Down goes Bortles. It's a safety. And you know the man who sat in my chair the last few years? He has a theory. These plays, these safeties, they're so rare. Maybe they should be worth more than two, maybe four points. I think he's got a great point. I really do, Brandon. But I would go ahead and up it to six. I'm a former defender. Ooh. To me, that's like scoring a touchdown. Easy now. I'll go four. I don't know about six. Come on, come on, come up to And put it on the board. It's six, a touchdown. Deion Sanders, 70 yards. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. Such an electric play. So much fun to watch. And you need all 11 guys in sync for that to be successful, don't you? Without a doubt. That's, that's teamwork, to be able to put it all together. But that play is really probably the most exciting 10 seconds in football. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Yeah, some might have returned that one. He won't. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start the drive from the 25. 
Here comes Blake Bortles now to lead his offense back out there. And how does he rally the troops, so to speak? He, he's played well, but they're down big on the scoreboard. How does he get his guys going? To make sure they understand it's not a me game, it's a team game. Everyone has to come together. Everyone has to up the level of play a little bit, including himself, and find a way to make some plays in order to give them a little bit of a spark and rally the team. We'll see if they can indeed rally down big on the scoreboard right now. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Bortles again here on second and ten. Now he's hit, and Bortles fumbled. It's loose. And fortunately, he's able to reel it back in, but it's going to go down as a big loss here on the play. Well, that was a big oops right there, but how about his ability to correct it? Loses the football able to get it back himself. Yeah, bounced right back on it, keeps possession. Following the sack, third and long for Bortles and the Jags. Here's Bortles to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Bortles now on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Robinson. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Allen Robinson on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Jaguars get a score closer. So not a... Oh, this is blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a line foot. It's a foot race. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. Past the 20. And all the way into the end zone, and that's two points. Here's Myers now to kick it away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. Spinning past him. And he's all the way up across the 40 and down at the 42-yard line. Great return. For a quick second there, I thought we were about to have a repeat performance of a kickoff return for a touchdown. This guy's on fire today. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. He's got to be feeling pretty good, playing well. Team has the lead, so just looking to mount a drive here that ends in the end zone. And all quarterbacks will tell you, hey, we love a running game, helps us out. But at the end of the day, they want to rely on their arm, throw the football, feel good about things, keep things moving in the right direction. Right now, that's exactly what we're seeing. And we'll see if that continues. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He's going to sling this deep downfield. That's caught inside the 20. And they rattle off a big one. 42 yards. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. Austin Hooper, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Now here's Suckup out to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Larry Ridley will have the highlights and analysis of this first half from our studios in Orlando. And I have a feeling those highlights will be pretty one-sided, too. Yeah, I think you're right, partner. And his throw here is incomplete. Hey. 
So incomplete on first. Let's see what second down has in store. Got a man. That's Robinson. 30, 10, 5. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Alan Robinson on his way to a historic performance. Four first half touchdowns. And the Jaguars make some inroads here on that deficit. Here's Myers now to kick it away. This will be fielded at the eight. Twisting away. And there he goes again. The 20, 10, and he will score. It's a touchdown. With Damian Tomlinson, 92 yards. And his guys are going to add on. Again, helping part, I'm, yeah, I get fired up. Two kickoff returns for touchdowns in the same game. This is fun to watch. Yeah, we call a lot of games in a lot of different places. Sometimes it seems like we do it simultaneously, but we rarely get to see this. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And a couple yards deep, he'll go to a knee. He won't return it. And they'll take it out to the 25. Now Allen Robinson and company gearing up to go again on offense. He'll try to generate some more steam on offense down to the scoreboard second quarter. Not necessarily his fault. But he's always a guy they want to get extra involved. Keep finding ways for him to get the football. Keep force feeding him in that way. Get to the half, Re you know, kind of reboot, start over again to try and... The big fella completes it left side to the tight end, Lewis. 20, 10, and he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Mercedes Lewis, 75 yards, and the Jaguars get a score closer. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call. But he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. Getting set to go again as we look at the back the field again and the good news his team's winning the bad news he hasn't had the game that he's hoped to at least to this point here in the second quarter and a lot of that is pride because these types of bats it's caught inside the 25 and he will take it in for the touchdown a big play there on his way to a monster game three first half touchdowns and his guys find a way to stretch that lead it's been quite the game for him individually. A trio of touchdown catches now. So pick a route, any route, whatever you want him to run, he's going to do it and do it well and end up in the end zone. This has really been fun to watch. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. And the Jaguars are going to cover this one up. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it. Also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team, that they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. On first down, Bortles. Throw left side complete. That's Lee. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Marquise Lee on his way to a historic performance. Four first half touchdowns. And the Jaguars make some inroads here on that deficit. Now these have been no picnic for him so far. He's missed two, but this one is good. 